Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to upgrade your BitBoy's SD card. So right now, the SD card that it comes with is the one I've got in. If I just go ahead and take this out, it's just an 8GB one. Um, obviously, it's got the custom firmware on here, but it's, um, you know, pretty small size. Maybe I want to upgrade it so I can add some more games. So right here, I have got a 32GB one, and this is what I'm going to be upgrading it to. Now, before you follow this video, make sure you follow my custom firmware video for the BitBoy because we won't be using some of the stuff that I download in that video so what we want to do is get our brand new SD card go and connect this to our PC using the micro SD adapter and I will show you guys what to do next so if you guys want to upgrade your SD card first just get the one that you wish to upgrade to make sure this is plugged into your PC right click it go down to format select capacity as default and um, file system make sure you select FAT32 allocation size leave that as default click start and then just click on OK and now the card is formatted so just click on OK when this message comes up and now just click on close so now what you have to do is locate your BitBoy custom firmware image. You should have this from the last video where I showed you guys how to install it. If you have not done that yet, I will leave a link to that video in the description. And what we want to do from here is just open up the Windows 32 disk imager. So just type in Win32 and just click on the first program. Again, you should have this installed if you followed my last tutorial. So from here we want to select our SD card which is E. Then make sure you click on the folder icon to select our image file. Just find it in your downloads folder, just click on it and now just click on open. Next all we have to do is just click on write down here. Now just click on yes. And now what it's going to do is write the image to our SD card. So this is actually a 32 gigabyte SD card. Um, I don't know what size it actually works up to but you, I just recommend trying. So let's just wait for this to complete. Okay guys, so when it's done, it's gonna come up like this. Make sure you just click on cancel and okay on all of these annoying messages because obviously it wants us to reformat. Just click on cancel, click on okay where it says write successful and now we can just click on exit. So what we need to do now is plug in our original BitBoy SD card. So here we are on the second one. Make sure you click cancel, cancel, okay. Just okay, exit out of all of these windows. And basically on our original micro SD card, we want to go to the main section because these are basically the things you want to copy. So for me, all I need to copy is my ROMs folder. Basically copy wherever your ROMs are. So once we've got this copied, we want to paste this somewhere in our downloads. So in my downloads, I'm just going to right click and just paste the like ROMs folder in here. Now once that is done, we can now disconnect our old BitBoy's SD card and we can put in the new one that we recently just got. So you go wait for it to load up and make sure you just cancel off all of these messages again. And now what we can do is drag and drop our original ROMs folder. So this goes in the main section. So simply just drag and drop it across. Wait for it to copy across. It will just put all of the games in there for you. And then that is literally it. That is how you upgrade your BitBoy's SD card. So now I will go onto my BitBoy and just show you guys that this works. Okay, so once we're back, let's test this out and let's see if this works. So let's just go and put this in to my console right now. Okay, so now let's just power it on. And hopefully the custom firmware should load up and we should be able to load our ROMs that we copied across. So it might take a bit longer because of the SD card size and because it has to boot up the custom firmware. But there you go, it seems to be loading. And what we can do is scroll through, so everything seems to be working like normal. Let's just try and boot up a game real quick. Okay, so Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Advance folder. Let's just try and boot this up. And there you go, it works perfectly fine. So the next thing I will show you guys how to do is how to get back to the stock firmware. So I will be using this SD card um, to show you guys how to get back. So what you want to do, if it's powered on, make sure you go and power it off. And then what you have to do is take out your SD card and go and connect this to your PC. Okay guys, now I will show you how to get the stock firmware back on your BitBoy. So what we need to do is go and connect our SD card. Now when you connect it, make sure you cancel off all of these messages. Make sure you just click on OK on the errors and just cancel all of those off. Now what we actually want to do to format this SD card and get it back to the stock firmware is just go to the search icon right here and you will just want to type in hard disk. Now once you type in hard disk, we need to select the first option which is create and format hard disk partitions. And this is like a software on Windows 10, so just click on this and it should open up. 
Okay, so once it's open up down here, what we want to do is just find our SD card. Make sure you do not select anything else. Do not select your hard drive. Select our SD card right here. And what we actually want to do is right click on all of these blue parts right here and, and just do delete volume. Now what this is going to do is just remove all of the partitions. So just click yes and do this just all the time um, until you've deleted everything on here. And then the last one, which is the main partition, we need to delete the volume on that, click yes and OK. And as you can see, our SD card is now unallocated. So what we have to do from here is right click, click on new simple volume, click next, next again, um, choose a letter if you want, click next. Next you want to choose file system, FAT32 is fine, default is fine, and give it a name if you want, maybe like SD card or SD, whatever you want. And now just click on next. Now just click on finish and your SD card is now back to the like factory settings. It's now got nothing on it. So what we want to do from here is actually copy across our ROMs folder. So we can close out of this and go to our downloads. So then just go to your downloads folder, find your ROMs folder or wherever you've got them. Now with your micro SD card, you want to disconnect it and then just reconnect it. Now if it comes up saying format, just click on format disk. Make sure you just choose that you know, default stuff, default allocation size. Click on start, then just click on OK. And then you can just click on OK once more. And now you can click on close. And that's it. Now we can select all of our ROMs and drag and drop them on our SD card. So this should be formatted completely. You can check um, in the hard disk manager just to make sure. So now we're going to disconnect it, put it back into our BitBoy, and I will show you guys what to do next. Okay, so when we're back, we can now test out the SD card and let's see if we've got the original firmware. So the actual firmware is on the device itself and when you load custom firmware, it loads it off the SD card before it actually lo loads it off the device. So let's just go and plug in my SD card right now, just so I can show you guys that this should boot into the original firmware. So let's just go and power it on. And there you go guys, here is the stock firmware and it works perfectly fine. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.